Hey guys, here we have a 2022 Salem Hemisphere. This is the 24RLHL. Uh, this is a video walkthrough for a customer who bought, bought it. Uh, so up front, you have your tongue jack. Uh, just up and down to raise and lower the trailer. Uh, you got your safety chains and your seven-way and a nice little... Uh, bracket to keep all that stuff right here so it's not hanging on the ground uh, then this little cable uh, is connected to a pin that goes in this box and what this is is basically um, an emergency brake uh, so we put a little carabiner on the other end of it and you'll hook it next to where your chains go um, don't hook it onto your chains um, because if for some reason this ever came off um, and your chains failed and if this was connected to your chains then your trailer would be going way behind you um, so hook this next to it and then if it ever came off this pin would pull out um, and it would lock up the brakes on the trailer uh, and that way it's not going way behind you and causing more damage uh then you have your propane tanks up here and this cover slides up so you can go get them filled uh, and then if you just loosen these little knobs on top and then push it back do both of them and then the top of this flips up and then you have access to your propane tanks uh, to turn them on and off Take this off just to show you um, your regulator right here uh, right now I have this tank on uh, so this little window right here there's a couple of them but they're green that means there's gas going through uh, if this tank goes empty it'll turn red telling you there's no gas going through um, and then this you can turn uh, to point to what draw tank is drawing from that's what this little nub is right here it's pointing to the tank being drawn from you can have both tanks on at once um, but it'll only draw from one tank uh, the one it's pointing to and then once that one goes empty this will turn red uh, but the little valve inside will switch over to the full tank and start drawing from that but this will still be red uh, telling you the tank it's pointing to is empty so all you have to do is just flip that over, it'll turn green, and then you can take the empty one off and go get it filled. Alright, close that back up. Uh, so this one, you have two batteries on it uh, because it has a solar panel on the top, so from the factory it comes with a battery. And then we throw another battery on for you. So you have dual batteries. Um, and that'll run basically everything besides the microwave and all your outlets. And then over here, you got your storage compartment. Nice pass-through storage. Um, and up here, this is where your uh, solar charger is. Uh, so it'll just tell you the voltage, uh, the amperage you're drawing. Uh, how much it's charging and what the voltage of the battery is. Uh, up here you have a battery disconnect. It's just a little key so you twist it, pull it out, um, and then it'll shut, basically shut the batteries off so nothing's being drawn from, off of it. And then put it back in and twist it. And then your batteries will work again. Alright. Um, uh, so down here you have your water hookups. I uh, got everything right here. So this one down here is your city water. So that's where you'll hook up your hose when you're at campgrounds that have water hookups. Then this one over here is your fresh water connection. Uh, you have a portable water tank. Uh, so if you're going to a state park or going on a long trip, uh, you can fill that tank right here. Um, at home before you leave uh, and that way you have water on board and then when you're dumping your black tanks you have a or your black tank uh, you have a black tank flush 
which there's just a little sprayer in there. Um, you hook up your hose and it'll clean off your sensors and uh, help flush out your tank. Then up above, you just have an outside shower. And then right here, you have your power cord hookup. Uh, this is a 30 amp service. Uh, so when you go to campgrounds, make sure you ask for the 30 amp hookups. Uh, if you're at home, you can get an adapter to plug into a regular household outlet. Um, the only thing you can't run is your air conditioner because that requires the full 30 amp service. Uh, because the air conditioner requires 20 amps itself. Uh, and a household outlet is 15 amps and sometimes 20. Um, so just don't run the air conditioner if you're plugged into an adapter at home. Um, but everything else, you'll be able to charge up the battery, run your fridge, uh, you know, clean the inside, turn on the lights and stuff. So that's pretty handy. All right, then down below, uh, you have your sewer outlets right here. Uh, so you have two gray tanks, uh, which are these gray handles here. And that's going to be your sink and shower water. Um... So the sink and shower bathroom is right here, the rear. And then the front one is for the kitchen sink. And then behind that, you have the valve for the black tank, uh, which is your toilet water. Uh, now, I actually got that backwards. This one is for the kitchen sink and this one's for the bathroom. I just realized that the bathroom was up here, so that's my fault. This one is for the bathroom, shower, and sink, and that's for the kitchen sink. Um, and with the black tank flush, uh, make sure you keep the black tank valve open. Uh, that way, um, if it's closed and you get distracted um, and that tank fills up, the only place for that water to go is either out through the toilet or through the vent on the roof and you definitely don't want that to happen because that'll leave a mess uh, so make sure that valve is open and you're nearby all right then you have your slide and on your slide you have these vents right here that's just for the back of the fridge um this little hose sticking out is for the drain for condensation on it All right, I uh, got your bumper and your spare tire back here. Uh, it's prepped for a backup camera. And then you have a ladder to get on the roof to check the seals or clean off the solar panel. Uh, and then behind the ladder, you have your park cable. And then if you have a satellite dish, you can hook it up here. All right. And on this side, uh, right next to the entry door, uh, you have a switch right here, and that is for your rear stabilizer jacks. These are electric, uh, so you just have extend and retract. Uh, when you're extending it, um, once they hit the ground, uh, you'll kind of hear the motor wind down a little bit. Once you uh, hear that, and it might pick up on the trailer a little bit, and that's okay. Um, but you don't want to try and, you know, jack the trailer up with these or uh, these won't level it because they kind of pivot. Uh, so if there's pressure on uh, one of the foots, the other side will start to go down. Um, so it's nice for uneven grounds, uh, but they will not level um, the unit. And they're only made for stabilizing. So if you were trying to, you know, pick this up with the jacks, uh, it will bend them. Uh, so just be careful of that. Uh, like I said, once you hear that motor start to wind down, uh, just let off the switch and you're all set. Um, and then you have the same exact switch up front. Um, same thing as I just told you. Uh, then you got your entry steps here. I'll explain that more once we start to go inside. I uh, got a nice big awning that basically goes the whole length of this. I uh, got a couple outside speakers. Uh, this right here is a vent uh, for the stovetop fan. And there's a little flap in here. You can kind of see it. It's a little hard because it's dark, but uh, it just snaps open. 
just like that um, and then you'll be able to use it and then uh, make sure it's snapped back in uh, when you're traveling or not using it that way no water or bugs uh, get up in there and then below that you have a mount for a tv so you could bring the tv out here and then you got the cable hookup for the tv and then a couple outlets all right uh, right here this is your furnace uh, this is the exhaust for it uh, so when using the furnace make sure nothing's leaned up against it uh, and definitely don't touch this uh, while it's running because uh, that does get pretty hot and then up above uh, this is your water heater uh, so that just twists and then this cover will come off this is a gas and electric water heater um, and so you can see the burner right here and this is electric ignition uh, so you don't have to come out here and light any pilots all you do is just flip on the switch um, and then it'll light right up then for the electric you have an on off switch there uh, so once you're all hooked up and stuff you just flip that switch on and we'll start heating up for you Alright, um, the new thing the factories have been doing is putting this little tie down here. So if you have a dog, you can leash it right here. Uh, so that's pretty handy. Um, then this is just the other side of the storage compartment. And there is magnets on it uh, that hold open the door for you. And then up here, you just got a little light right here. And then you get this switch right here. Um, you have LED strip right there, so that'll turn that on. All right, now we'll go inside. Um, before we go in, um, this um, grab handle right here, uh, when you're traveling or before you start to travel, uh, you just pick up on this and rotate it that way and that'll lock it in that way it's not sticking out and doesn't accidentally get ripped off and also it will make sure that the door doesn't accidentally pop open because uh, going down the road they flex a little bit so that's and you want to make sure the um the handle and the deadbolt is locked and that'll just definitely make sure it won't pop open all right, and with these steps, you have to make sure the door is all the way open. That way it can go up and down. Uh, so these steps, if you just grab the bottom and you flip it up, and there's a little handle right here. And then just go all the way like that. And then you have a little lock right here uh, that'll keep it locked. Uh, so that way when you open the door, it doesn't just fall right down on you. Uh, so then you just pull that and then you can pull the steps down and these legs are adjustable so you have a little button right there you press that and then you can extend or retract the legs because um, sometimes gra the ground's not always the same level or anything um, and you just want to get it so that this part of the step is flush with the bottom of the door sill that way your door doesn't catch it while uh, opening and closing. Now we'll go inside. Uh, to the right of the door is your fire extinguisher. And just take a quick peek around. Uh, so you got your dinette seating with the fridge and the slide. Nice little uh, couch here. And then you have your monitor panel right here, which has all your switches. Uh, so you got your light switch here, uh, an outside switch right there, or your LEDs, then your slide switch, uh, just in and out, and then your awning. Uh, and then you have your water pump switch, uh, the switch for the gas for the water heater. And then you have tank heaters, 
uh, so that they don't freeze. And then if you push these buttons, it'll tell you how full uh, your tanks are. Uh, then this switch right here, uh, because you do have a fireplace and this is only a 30 amp service, uh, this is a separate breaker uh, so that the fireplace and AC aren't working at the same time. And then you just have all the controls here. And your speaker, now you got your power button and all that. And then your TV is right here. Uh, regular small microwave, uh, stovetop light and fan. Then you have your range and oven right here. So this cover will just flip up. And then you just turn this to the flame and hit the sparker. There it goes. Uh, so it lit right up. Uh, it took a while because it hasn't been running a little while. Uh, nice thing about this is that the knobs turn red. Um, telling you that there's a gas going. Um, that way if you, you know, you accidentally leave it on like that and don't shut it all the way, uh, you'll be able to know. Uh, then you have light switches here, uh, so you can turn the knobs blue. And then you have an oven light. Um, and even with these knobs blue, once you turn it, it still turns red. Uh, you want to make sure the burners and the grate is completely cooled before folding down uh, the cover because uh, it will shatter that if these are hot. Then you have your sink and some storage. And then you have a nice little flip up uh, extension to the counter. Uh, your dinette booth seating is right here. Uh, your table, uh, you can lift that up, pull the poles out. And set it down and then you can make this into another sleeping area Don't believe. No. then your these are actually reclining chairs so you have your lever right here to pull it out uh, and then you can recline it uh, then you have a nice little closet area right here Uh, then you have your fridge uh, so if you open the freezer part of it you have your switches right here uh, so you just have on off button there and then this switch will control what source it's running off of uh, so with it pushed in it's on auto and what that's doing is looking for uh, 110 power first uh, and if you lose power overnight or if you're not plugged in it'll automatically switch to gas Hence the auto uh, part of it. Uh, and if you are plugged in, uh, say you're plugged in at home um, using an adapter and you have the water heater running on electric, uh, you would want to turn the fridge on gas. Uh, that way you don't accidentally trip the breaker at home. Um, or vice versa, you can have this running on electric and the water heater on gas. And then turn it off. And then the fridge part of it. Uh, and right here, there's a little thermostat inside of this. So you can push it up. And it'll make uh, the fridge get colder. And if you push it down, it'll be warmer. Uh, and this is like a gravity kind of thing. So there's some fluid in that line. And so obviously the higher it goes, um, it'll have to take a little bit longer to get colder, which will uh, make the fridge colder. All right, uh, before we go in the bathroom, you have your thermostat right here, and this big button uh, controls what mo which mode it's running off of. And then the arrows are the temperature settings, uh, so you just press it. You have fan, which is just the fan and the air conditioner, and then you have cool. Then you have the auto side of cool, then you have heat, and then off. All right, so you got your bathroom right here, nice sink, plenty of counter space, and some shelving right there. 
uh, medicine cabinet. Um, and then that is your GFCI uh, outlet. Uh, most of the outlets in RVs are GFCI protected. Uh, so that's just the main one. Uh, so if it trips, that's where you reset it. Then you got your toilet with a foot flush right here. And then your shower, just regular hot, cold water. Uh, and then this is shower curtain. And you just pull that there and then it will lock in. And then when you want to close it, you just bring it back like that. And you do want to keep a hand on it because it's spring loaded. So if you just let it go, it'll snap back um, and you'll risk damaging it. Uh, then you got some nice, nice storage area here. Uh, nice and deep. That's probably probably close to three feet deep. And then your toilet paper holder. And then you got a nice sliding door here. So you unlatch it. And there's a magnet on this side. So that's why this piece is right here. And that'll just keep it kind of from sliding open. And it is pretty strong. Uh, but definitely for traveling, you want to make sure that it's uh, strapped back down like this. Uh, your light switch for the bathroom is right here. You do have a nice little window in the bathroom. Uh, you have a vent uh, with a fan. Uh, so that knob right there will crank open the lid. Then you got the switch to turn the fan on and off. Then you have a nice little skylight in the shower to let in some natural light. And then last but not least, uh, the bedroom. Uh, same door as uh, the bathroom. Light switch right here. You do have TV hookups here, so you could mount a TV there if you wanted. Uh, some nice closet areas and storage up above, and you do have some lights above the head. Then way in the back, you have a little cubby for like a bedside table, and there are uh, outlets and USB ports there, uh, so you can charge your phone, or if you had like a CPAP machine or something, uh, same on that side. Then your bed also lifts up, and you got some storage under that. Uh, and then if we close this door, Behind it is, uh, this is your converter. Uh, so this just has all your 12 volt fuses right here. And then all your 110 breakers right there. Um, closet area, it does have a coat rack thing right there. And same on that side. Alright, we'll close that off, shut that. Uh, and then this is your air conditioner. Uh, so the f air filters are right here. You just pop this plastic piece off. And then you can take those out and clean them. And then these right here, if you open it up, it'll just blow the air directly down here. Uh, same on that side. And then if you want to disperse the air throughout uh, the air ducts, you got a couple back here. And then there and there and one in the bedroom. Uh, you just close this and it'll go throughout the unit. And then you also have a nice little skylight in the kitchen. Uh, lets in some natural light. Uh, so that is everything to do with the 2022 Salem Hemisphere 24 RL HL. I hope you guys enjoy this. And uh, thank you for shopping at Mackleson RV.